Hey YouTube, so today in our Unity series we are going to look at terrain. If you've been following from the other tutorials I've put up, we currently have this game. You can move around, you can jump, there is a brick wall, ground and there is a character we imported in from last time, Deathstroke. So, um, to, on this tutorial we are going to look at terrain, don't know if I've already said that, but yeah. So, a terrain is basically the floor of your game, it's another word for floor, but the terrain in Unity has a much more variety of tools which you could use, such as trees, um, painting on other textures so you can like have sand pits or something, placing trees and flowers and mountains and stuff like that. So to get started, um, load up your level and go to terrain, create terrain, like so. And when it's done we should have a giant terrain. As you can see it is massively big. So if we go to the side, move it down near hours, zoom in, zoom, 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 move it over, zoom, 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 and I'm just going to pretty much match it up to there, like so. If you want to do it a quicker way, what you can do is click on your ground and copy the X and paste it on the terrain, copy the Y and the Z. Paste it on so it's in the exact same location. Oh, copy that one. Paste on that one. There we go. As you can see, it's bang in the middle of that one. So we'll move it down a bit and across a bit just so it's level. But as you can see, the if I zoom in enough, you should see the first floor we did stick out because that has a width of 0 0.3, where this one is just completely flat so yeah so there we are. as you can see we have a massive terrain and I really don't think you want your game to be this big because then it'll just be a nightmare so if you click on it and go to terrain set resolution you can change the settings in it so the width is I believe that's the Z axis if we change that to 200 is enough the height you don't want to mess with just leave that one um, the length will set 200 again so it's square and the rest you just leave so click set resolution and there we have a smaller bit bigger but not massively different terrain which we could easily use like so so yeah there's our terrain but that's not it um, so if we click the terrain and just right click rename call it floor 2 so we have two floors and then if you go to your project view we'll see that the terrain has created a new one this um, is basically the same as models so you can just drag and drop it everywhere like so that'll be somewhere if you drag it there yeah it's somewhere but yeah um, so if you click and hold on that and uh, let go you should be able to rename it we'll call this one floor 2 as well so we know where it goes but I don't really use them. But if you delete this, it will mess up this file. So just leave that in there or move it to another folder or something. So, yeah. So, I'm going to... Yeah, so click on your floor and go to the inspector. And you'll see you have the basic transform, which our other floor has. But it already has a terrain collider on it with some stuff like material. If we, You can set it, if you click the pinhead, to bouncy, like metal or something like that the um i don't know what to call it just basically the material of it where it's made of yeah it's like ice will obviously be slippy bouncy would bounce you up more wood um probably have no friction or something i don't know but yeah um the triggers will go on to in a few episodes later um the terrain data that's as you can see, it's linked to this one, so if something goes wrong, you can just drag that back and it'll always be there. And the Create Tree Colliders don't exactly work for me, but if I find it out, I'll tell you in a later tutorial. So yeah, But if you go up a bit, you'll see Terrain Script, and you have many tools in here. So if we browse through them, we've got Raise and Lower, where we can like make the terrain bigger or something. So if we have a look at that, we have Raise Terrain, 
um, hold shift to get rid of it like so um, you have paint the height this is basically you choose a height like 50 meters or something and it'll all be that when you paint it on you have smooth it which basically makes ledges less jagged and make more like nice mountain sides you see in movies or something i don't know um paint texture that's the one we'll be looking at the most later that lets you draw sand pits or something you've got trees where you place loads of trees down you have rocks plants and other details like that and the settings which we won't be using in this one so yeah start i'm going to go to the razor lower terrain and click choose a brush the brush size brush size is how big the brush is as you can see it goes bigger much bigger hardly anything etc yeah so about 70 is a good one yeah um, the opacity is how much it is so if we draw one here as you can see it's right really lightly but if we move it up it'll be smack instant big so yeah if you hold shift you can kind of raise what you've done you can't control z it or undo whatever it is in mac because it just it's different so you have to paint it off go away um so but i'm not going to use this one because i want all the mountains to be even in ours so i'm going to go straight to the paint height and choose the nice brush like that one and the brush size i'm going to keep it 70 opacity in fact, the brush side I'm going to bring down something like 40 so it's smaller, so it doesn't take up as much room. And I'm going to set the height to something like 30 so it's quite high. So if we click once, as you can see, we when we paint it on slowly, as you can see, we have a th level 30 mountain. But yeah, so just bring it up, get rid of that. don't control click because it messes with the height so um, go into the z view no, the y axis in the cube thing and then you can see it and i'm going to drag the opacity up a bit so it's slack and there set the brush to 30 and height to 30 and basically now you just mess around with it so if i drag it here up here we'll go up here a bit Oh no, I messed up again. Drag it round. If you go fast like that, it will mess up. So, yeah, I'll just keep that for now because it looks like craters. And drag it up. There is one downfall to this which takes me ages, well, took me ages to figure out how to do, but you actually can't do it, so. Um, you can raise or lower the terrain like so. We have mountains and stuff now. Ooh. Um, but um, you cannot create bridges. So like if I created, I don't know, change it to 50. Create one big one there, one big one there. You cannot create a bridge or ravine across top of there. You will have to use an external modeling program on, or another, uh, what they call it. Um another terrain on top yeah yeah completely lost my train of thought then but yeah so um uh yeah as you can see all these edges are jagged that's what you use the smooth tool for so like, i'm only going to do a few because i actually like it but create nice round smooth ones like so do one of these okay like so basically you got a normal one and you have a smoothed one as you can see it depending on your game depends what you want but I'm just going to do a few smooth and a few normal like so and yeah so next one we're going to do actually I'm going to get rid of some of that because that looks terrible but basically yeah you can just mess around with it so have fun really but I think get rid of some of these like that yeah so uh, next one we're going to do is trees so if you click the trees one next to the paint one because we'll do the paint one later um, you'll see you have loads of tools and where it says trees you'll see you have no trees defined basically if you click 
there will be no trees. You have no trees saying you want to put it here. So if you click edit trees then add tree. Click your little pin head up in the add tree box. And if you, you have two types of trees, you have big tree and palm tree. Palm is like with coconuts and stuff, what you see on desert islands. And big trees are like forests and stuff. So I always like to use big tree, but you can use palm tree if you like. Um, so yeah, if we click now, we'll create trees. But some of the settings, you've got the brush size like we do always. Um, the tree height is what I use. You can choose how high your trees will be. And the variation changes random tree heights. Um, and the width is how wide they are and the variation again is either side so if we z go to the Y view and drag some trees they so just click and drag like so and as you can see there is a big s missing thing in the middle but if you let go it will zoom in it, it's just basically the brush so yeah but look we have trees now you can walk through these trees because they don't have colliders yet I don't know how to set them up yet but yeah so that's that one and now we'll get to the fun part of painting the terrain so if you go to the Y view again cause it's easiest to see um, yeah so click paint tool and same again edit textures add texture click the pinhead and this time we will add the floor grass when you click add on this it will texture it all but we can paint over it like so so as you can see it's t took it all but um yeah i want dirt around the trees and on the few of top of here so if you click edit and add another texture click the pinhead i'm going to add the good dirt one which is standard in the standard assets click add and uh if you try to draw you'll just don't worry about your trees disappearing that's just trying to save room like ram but if you click your dirt you can zoom in and not draw it all apparently text yeah settings again brush size you know opacity is um, how much pressure you when you click and the strength is kind of with the opacity as well so just bring it down a bit and draw the opacity is transparency that's right yeah so if I just draw a big circle here change it to 100 because I want it to be fully dirt Yep. As you can see, if we zoom out, we'd have dirt under our trees. As you can see, it's not very good. Like you can clearly tell, and you can like, you can try to fade it out by like switching between opacities. Like, if I keep going down and zooming out, it will eventually try to make it look like it's gone, but. But yeah, it's not very good. You best use Photoshop or something if you want to do a proper texture. But this is just for Unity. Um, you can paint the walls. So if you like, bring it up. Paint it brown or something. Like so. That really looks weird. But oh well. Like so. Um, yeah, you could just basically make artwork with it. Make your game look how you want it to. So yeah, um, that's basically terrain. Yeah, you can add more stuff like flowers and stuff, but that's basically you can create as many terrains as you like as well. So um, if you want to create like, fifteen or do anything, you can. Um, this camera is not going to work very well, was it? But if we go to the right side, as you can see, we have a big terrain. It is walkable on, you can walk on it like you can see. And we have our trees, but you can see, if you can see, let me get to a tree where you can see. Oh no, no. Whoa. As you can see, we can walk through the trees. There are no colliders on it. I will figure out how to do colliders and stick it up in another tutorial, but as for now, yeah. You can't walk through the walls as well. Um, the floor is painted as you can see. You can't hit it, but if you carry on jumping loads, you can actually make your way up eventually. That's the problem with the actual coding in the thing. Every you just ignore that or something, but yeah. 
it's basically as soon as it hits the ground this is what the code's saying it means you can jump again so yeah you can jump out but yeah so thanks for watching please have fun and explore your world post them in the video response and i'll have a look and comment and stuff yeah, pass it on to other people um show your creations off so yeah um the next tutorial um i don't know what we'll be doing we'll do something cool though um so yeah thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching